Okay, hello. Let's do a second attempt of this because I have to quickly reset all my um, technology. So I've reset my um, computer and my phone and everything else. So it looks as if now we are, uh, we are getting somewhere. So hopefully you can now hear and see me okay. There's not gonna be any interruption. I think we had a poor connection before. So hopefully that's sorted. Um, let's have a look if we can see uh, who's here. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. I think everything is is coming along now. Um, today, I promise, is going to be a short um, live stream. Uh, where I want to talk to you about only three things um, that are important to me that I've been doing for a uh, number of years now. Uh, some of them, some of them I've implemented new and cold. Uh, so some of them uh, you'll be able to implement as well uh, just by watching uh, me doing it. Unfortunately, one of the videos that we did uh, this week um, was to do with shorts and how to cut um, your old trousers and make them um, nice looking shorts. Unfortunately, that video didn't work out. I mean, the, the video did, but unfortunately the recording of it um, didn't last that long. We didn't have uh, anything on Facebook, anything on YouTube, so unfortunately I cannot publish this. And I've cut my trousers, uh, but you won't be able to see that. But today, it's not about trousers, it's about all the three things that I've been doing. What are those three things? First of all, you've got your shoes. You've got your normal um, shoes, could be a boat shoe, could be some sort of loafer, could be anything that you are using throughout the summer, because it's a summer hack. And when you do that, when you use those summer shoes, oftentimes what happens is, uh, those shoes uh, could be worn and are worn without socks. Now, what do you do with that? Obviously, if you wear, um, you know, any sort of shoes without socks for a prolonged period of time, uh, what's going to happen is they're going to slightly stink, and they you're going to feel this, and other people around you are going to feel that as well. Okay, so what can we do? To prevent that well it's a super super simple hack that super simple hack is called baby powder don't know whether you've heard of that but you basically put a baby powder inside your shoe just like that and you move it about in a shoe so basically i've got that much baby powder in the shoe i'll move it about and all of a sudden we've got a shoe that is filled with baby powder. It smells like baby, so that's always a good smell. But also, it prevents you from sweating uh, your feet. So right now, you can go in these shoes probably for, you know, three, four, five, six hours, um, you know, with no socks, and actually your feet wouldn't, wouldn't sweat at all which means they wouldn't smell, because what smells is not the, the actual sweat, but it's the bacteria that, um, that are then used to, uh, you know, that accumulate, and, and they are, then they sort of do something with them, and then they break down, and then they smell. So it's the sweat doesn't smell, it's the bacteria that smell. So if you actually prevent the first thing out of those two from happening, meaning you eliminate the sweat that's not going to be um, bacteria and they're not going to uh, all of a sudden sort of break down and start smelling. So that's my hack number one. Let me know in the comments below if you actually used that hack before, whether you had a chance to use it. Do you want to know how hack number two? This is my Wunderwaffe as Germans would say. This is a, a thing called blocker. Uh, it's any sort of um, 
antiperspirant, any sort of uh, uh, blocker. I think you can find them on YouTube. This uh, on YouTube on Amazon. You can um, this one I found from a company called Jaya. It's a Polish company, um, but it could be any company that offers similar kind of product. And basically, what happens is you apply it. Uh, for your armpits and for, for, for areas where you sweat like for instance my palms sweat from outside when it's like super hot my palms are like getting ugh. I, I cannot control that but what I can control is put a bit of bit of that you know it's it's like a you know it's like a liquid kind of you can yeah you can see that so it's kind of liquid and it doesn't smell that much it's kind of a pleasant smell um, so now what's going to happen is it's going to stop the sweating glands from opening and from releasing uh, the excess moisture, right? So with that, what you're going to have is, um, is less sweat. So it's not damaging your skin. It's not doing anything bad. It's just temporarily closing those sweat glands. So if you're sweating a lot, uh, a lot and if you see people sweating, uh, I very often see people, for instance, on stage that are sweating a lot. Uh, you know, they, they, they've got this speech, they've got the shirt on, you know, nice. They put the arms up and it's like, whoa, put the arms down, man. Like, what's happening here? I've used one of those for two or three days. No sweating on their armpits. You know, this is amazing. Go buys that cost like fiver. You know, it's uh, super simple. Again, let me know in the comments below if you actually used any of that before. Now, another thing that I've discovered, I actually done a video about this thing, but I don't know whether you watch my video, whether you watch any of my videos, but if you did, thank you. But if you didn't, you have to check these guys out. I know it's all the way around, but it's a company called Sharp and Dapper. They don't make bags, but what they do make is Shirt stays. So go and check out shirt stays. If you don't know what they are for, they look super weird for some people. So don't be crippled by that. It's uh, it's how you connect your shirt to your sock. And why would you want to ever connect a shirt to your sock? Well, if you happen to have suspenders like I have today with me, on me, um, What's going to happen with suspenders? Of course, they're going to try to pull your pants up. Fine. What's going to happen to your socks? Well, if you've got tiny socks, you're going to be showing your calf most of the time, especially if you sit down or stand up or do some weird poses, right? Okay. How to prevent that? Well, if you had a longer sock, you could perhaps attach the shirt to your sock through one of those. Problem solved. Also, if you have got braces like I have, what tends to happen is the shirt tends to go up. So you move arms about and obviously the shirt starts coming out from your trousers. So all the time you have to sort of tuck it all in from all sides all the time because otherwise it's not going to stay tucked in. With shirt stays, that problem doesn't exist anymore. So Make sure you use one of those. They cost like 15 pounds. You can get them from sharpendapper.com. I believe I also have a discount. I can't remember what that is. Uh, but if you go to my website and blog, you can find that discount, the Sharp and Dapper. Um, can I quickly pull it up? Let me just have a look. For all of you that are interested in that, how we are doing, anyhow. I can see some people being here, but very quiet, so that's okay. Right, I'm just pulling up uh, the um, the article. Yes, so if you go to Sharpen Dapper, sharpendapper.com, you can get these 15, 15% off if you type code men's finest. So get yourself one if you were in braces. Uh, and I think you should. And that's my bonus tip. My tip number four is start wearing braces. Braces are in. Suspenders are in this season. And all you have to do if you haven't got uh, the trousers that are suspenders ready, meaning they haven't got the buttons, 
you can actually get the clip-ons. Clip-ons are still okay. You know, they, they probably six out of 10 in terms of stylish, stylish ability. Um, but um, get yourself ones with the actual buttons. So for instance, the ones that I have got at the moment, they are from Sharp and Dapper as well, but it could be from, from anywhere. Um, where you've got, let me just remove them, so you can see they've got the loops. Um, so you, you, you basically, all you have to do is obviously put your buttons on your trousers. So these um, actually gonna be attached to your trousers. And in, so that way you, um, you then can um, sort of rock that look. It's, um, suspenders is, is a very interesting one. My granddad used to wear suspenders every day. Uh, he had a clip on that was in the 60s or 70s um, and he looked sharp you know I, I always liked the way he, he was he was you know sort of uh, dressing every day and and how how gentleman he, he looked you know um, so yes suspenders is my von der Waffe so to sum up um, baby powder blocker sharpened up a shirt stays and get yourself uh, you know a pair of suspenders see how we feel see how you feel thank you so much for being here i promised it's going to be a short one it is going to be a short one stay stylish see you soon